How you doing? All right? Come on, we want Brexit, don't we? Back on the road again, perhaps now a more lonely figure, the man who first pushed for an EU referendum. He says what Theresa May is offering on Brexit is simply not enough. Well, I think we've made so many concessions. We've looked weak right from the very start. The Prime Minister's tough talk yesterday hadn't convinced him at all. This is about betrayal of the greatest democratic exercise. We voted for independence. We voted to leave the European yes, Union. Yes, Theresa May, and, is, and, 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 Theresa May and, is negotiating to leave the European Union. Not with Czechos, she's not. But it's possible Czechos was dealt a fatal blow at the Salzburg summit. Today, the Foreign Secretary, Jeremy Hunt, called for calm, saying this is a time for people in the EU to step back from the abyss, to sit down and to talk to us about how we can make these sensible, concrete proposals actually work. But the tone at a Leave campaign rally in Bolton was altogether different. Former Brexit Secretary David Davis making his first big speech from outside the Cabinet, although unexpectedly he did have some words of support for the Prime Minister. Disrespect our Prime Minister and you disres disrespect our country. <laughs> and if you think you can bully our country, all I can do is recommend you read some history books. <laughs> A standing ovation here for the former Brexit secretary, but Theresa May already knew she'd lost his vote. The big question is whether after Salzburg, other members of the cabinet will walk. He said they had to decide that for themselves. You make those decisions for yourself. They're very personal decisions, decisions to resign. Uh, my view is they ought to fight very hard uh, on the substance of checkers. Meanwhile, he, together with Nigel Farage, intend to fight from the outside.